There are numerous covert missions being carried out in this world. One of them is China's covert building of the first drone carriers in history. With this innovative vessel, China has subtly ushered in a new age that promises to revolutionize maritime policy. According to reports, a secretive development is underway at a Chinese port. Apparently, the PLA Navy is now working on a drone carrier at a time when the long-awaited Fujian is testing the waters. Even though there is still much mystery surrounding this technological marvel, its introduction represents a critical turning point in the development of naval powers. Come along as we examine the possible effects on the future of naval warfare and the ramifications of China's covert creation. The Shift in Naval Warfare Naval warfare has experienced significant changes over time, with a notable shift marked by the emergence of the Yamato battleship in 1940. As the largest battleship at the time, it symbolized the pinnacle of naval power with its formidable armament and massive size. However, the era of battleships came to an end with World War II, giving rise to the dominance of aircraft carriers. Now, experts suggest that the era of aircraft carriers might be waning, prompting speculation about the future of naval technology. China, in particular, has emerged as a key player in this evolving landscape, investing heavily in aircraft carriers and potentially pioneering new directions in naval warfare. Recent analyses indicate that China has developed a groundbreaking type of aircraft carrier, a fixed-wing drone carrier. Perhaps that is why recent analyses by Naval News and J. Michael Dom, a senior resident fellow at the Mitchell Institute, suggests that to understand where naval technology is heading, one should look to China. Unlike traditional carriers, this vessel is smaller and specifically tailored for unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. Its design reflects a departure from conventional carrier capabilities, signaling a significant shift in naval strategy. While the implications of this development remain uncertain, it underscores China's commitment to advancing naval technology and potentially reshaping the balance of power at sea. As naval capabilities continue to evolve, understanding China's trajectory in this domain becomes increasingly crucial for anticipating future developments in naval warfare. World's first dedicated drone carrier. The vessel may seem unconventional for an aircraft carrier, but it is more likely the world's first dedicated drone carrier marking a new era in naval warfare. Defense analyst H.I. Sutton from Naval News explains that, at first glance, it resembles an aircraft carrier with a runway along the port side and an island superstructure on the starboard side. However, it diverges from traditional designs in several key aspects. The hull is configured as a widely spaced catamaran, a layout often proposed in aircraft carrier concepts to maximize deck area. Yet, this design has not been realized until now. Satellite imagery analysis indicates that the flight deck sits low, with no apparent hangar deck beneath it. If a hangar deck exists, its ceiling seems too low for sustained flight operations. Nevertheless, the flight deck's width suggests it can comfortably accommodate drones with a wingspan of around 20 meters, akin to the Predator drone. The presence of a flight deck implies drones are intended to land on it, with takeoff likely facilitated by a catapult or launch rail. While leading navies like China and the U.S. are already testing drones on conventional aircraft carriers, some countries, such as Iran and Turkey, are exploring drone carriers. However, China's new vessel represents the first fully dedicated drone carrier, marking a significant advancement in naval technology. The shipyard responsible for constructing this carrier, Jiangnan Shipyard, is renowned for producing simulated enemy ships for the People's Liberation Army Navy. This meticulous approach suggests that the Chinese Navy is committed to developing advanced naval capabilities, such as the Fujian aircraft carrier and potentially a laser-powered submarine. The presence of two large drone motherships and target barges adjacent to the drone carrier further adds to the intrigue surrounding this site. While the precise purpose of this vessel remains uncertain, its existence may signal the future direction of naval warfare. 
As technological advancements continue to shape naval strategies, China's innovative approach underscores the evolving nature of maritime defense. How does the future look? Picture a future where fleets of drone carriers dominate the seas, conducting surveillance, striking targets, and providing support without risking human lives. This vision is becoming increasingly plausible with advancements in AI and drone technology. These vessels could operate semi-autonomously, fundamentally altering the dynamics of naval engagements. Could this signify the dawn of an era where human crews are no longer necessary for frontline naval operations? Moreover, the economic ramifications of transitioning to drone carriers could be substantial. Traditional aircraft carriers are notorious for their high costs, both in construction and maintenance, requiring extensive resources and personnel. In contrast, drone carriers could offer a more cost-effective alternative, allowing nations to reallocate resources to other defense or civilian projects. This potential shift in military spending could lead to a rebalancing of global power dynamics. The ability of drone carriers to undertake missions deemed too perilous for manned ships is another critical consideration. In high-risk areas where the threat of missile attacks or other dangers looms large, drone carriers could operate with relative impunity, executing reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and even direct attacks without risking human lives. This capability would confer a significant tactical advantage in conflicts, particularly in contested regions such as the South China Sea. As China continues to develop and deploy these advanced vessels, other nations will undoubtedly take notice, accelerating their own research and development efforts. This could spark a new arms race centered not on traditional weaponry, but on advanced unmanned systems. The outcome of this race will likely shape the future of naval warfare and determine which nations hold the strategic upper hand in the coming decades. In summary, China's creation of the first drone carrier in history marks a turning point in the development of naval warfare. Driven by advancements in AI, robotics, and missile technology, the shift from conventional aircraft carriers to drone carriers is a reflection of broader developments in military technology and strategy. The character of naval battles will continue to change as countries adjust to these developments, bringing up new issues and difficulties for international law, policymakers, and military strategists. The world's first drone carrier is being quietly produced in China, and while much remains unknown, the developments will have a lasting impact on future generations and shape the future of naval warfare. That's it for this video.